Tesla has just revealed a huge part of their revolutionary new unboxed manufacturing process, and this is not what we were expecting to see, but it is pretty cool, if just a little confusing. So, unboxed manufacturing is a new concept that Tesla revealed back in 2023 at Investor Day, and this is a concept that will change everything about how electric vehicles are made because it essentially is a reinvention of the production line. Every automaker for the past 100 years has essentially just been following the Henry Ford playbook that he wrote for the Model T. We've been gradually adding in more and more robots to the process, but the basic layout of the production line hasn't changed. Tesla's Unboxed is the first radical change. They essentially take the line and they chop it up into smaller lines and they run those smaller lines side by side with each one focused on making a specific chunk of the car. So instead of one long line making one whole car, you have these short parallel lines that are purpose-built for specific jobs, and then at the point where all of the shorter lines converge, that is where the chunks come together to form one whole vehicle. Or at least it's something like that. Tesla has been very slow to roll out specifics about how their new production line works, but we do have this one new patent that describes an automated process for one of the most important parts of the vehicle assembly, attaching the body panels and windows. That might not sound exciting, but it is, because this traditionally is a very time-consuming and labor-intensive part of the process. You have people fitting those body panels and attaching them with clips and screws and stuff, and then sometimes they don't even line the panels up properly, and then the whole car just looks kinda wonky. And that is another reason why this is important. It doesn't actually matter if your car has crooked body panels, within reason of course, but it is the first thing that people see. And even if everything on the inside of the car is masterfully constructed, the uneven panel gaps and crooked fenders are going to make it appear to be poorly made. So we can see from this patent illustration that the skeleton of the vehicle will be surrounded completely by automated machines. There is no room for a person to be involved in the process. It looks like they'd get crushed if they came anywhere near this thing. Towards the edges, you can see racks that hold prepared body panels and panes of glass. Then in the middle are these robotic fitting machines. So it's kind of like the equivalent of how the Gigapress uses casting to create the internal frame of the car using just one really big machine. This new patent is a way to create the exterior of the car also using one really big machine. And there are two key ingredients here that are going to allow Tesla to solve all of those old body manufacturing problems forever. Vacuums and glue. Again, doesn't sound exciting, but it is, or at the very least, it's pretty interesting. AI is already at the heart of Tesla's self-driving technology, from autopilot to full self-driving, and it's rapidly shaping the entire future of transportation. But here's the thing, AI isn't just transforming cars, it's transforming everything. Whether you're in engineering, business, marketing, or just curious about the tools driving the future, mastering AI is quickly becoming essential. That's why I'm excited to partner with Outskill, the world's largest AI education platform, to give you free access to their two-day AI mastermind happening this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. each day. That's 16 hours of hands-on training with expert mentors covering more than 10 of the most powerful AI tools from building AI agents and automating your workflow to creating interactive apps, websites, and even professional presentations in minutes. This program normally costs $395, but right now, my viewers can claim one of 1,000 free seats. That's nearly $900,000 worth of training being given away. Plus, if you attend both days, you'll unlock $5,100 worth of bonuses, including a prompt Bible with 3,000 prompts, a money-making AI roadmap, and your own custom AI toolkit builder. Seats are going to go fast, so grab yours now using the link in the description or the pinned comment and make sure to join their WhatsApp community so you don't miss a thing. So a big part of the unbox process is that the car does not go through the painting process as a whole. Because they build it in chunks, each chunk gets fitted with pre-finished body panels. That means each piece of the body needs to be treated with extreme care during the installation process. Any little nick or scratch in the paint as it's being fitted to the car is going to ruin that panel. So Tesla's answer is to use a robot arm that's been fitted with vacuum suction cups. 
That way it can firmly hold the panel and position it on the car without any risk of damage to the finish. Now, here's where the glue comes in. All of the exterior panels and windows will be attached to the car with glue alone. No screws, welds, clips, just glue. And of course, by glue, we mean a high-strength industrial adhesive. Now, sticking stuff together with glue is easier. That's why it's the first thing we give to children when they start making things. But in this case, it's also better for the vehicle and is going to allow Tesla to ensure perfect alignment on every single panel. Here's how that works. In their patent, Tesla refers to a global datum, which is a really frustrating terminology that people wouldn't understand. But the best I can tell, it's just meaning that there is a network of reference points on the frame of the vehicle that show the robot exactly where to place each part to ensure everything aligns across the entire car. On a traditional assembly line, you'll have a guy who is only concerned with placing the front fender. And then another guy will come in and try to line up the door panel. And there's a different guy for every part. So then by the time they get to the rear fender, maybe all of those guys were just a little bit off. They didn't do a bad job, just not perfect. And when you add up all of those variances, you get a wonky looking car. So that's where the global reference points and the robot come in. It can look at the whole car in the way that one person just can't, or at least not on a mass production scale. Supercars like Pagani are handmade by artisans, but that's a whole other thing. The glue makes all of this possible. Not only does it eliminate a lot of fasteners like screws and thereby make the entire installation process faster, but it also provides a level of flexibility when fitting the panel that screws don't allow for. Basically, what Tesla is going to do is use a thick layer of glue, what the patent refers to as an engineered adhesive gap, but it just means thick glue, and that gap is going to allow the glue to fill in any uneven or irregular areas on either the frame or the body panel and ensure that everything is aligned to the global reference point, not just to that one part of the frame that you're sticking the panel to. It's kind of like a buffer zone. Glue also handles the expansion and contraction of metals really well. It's less likely to come loose with vibration, so you won't get rattles and creaks as the vehicle ages, and should also provide better insulation for keeping road noise and moisture on the outside of the car. We've seen Tesla experiment with structural adhesive before. A good example of that would be the Cybertruck. Okay, maybe not a good example. Tesla had to recall every Cybertruck earlier this year because the stainless steel trim around the bed area was falling off, and the reason it was falling off was because they used glue to hold it down, and it turned out the glue wasn't sturdy enough. So they used better glue, and now that doesn't happen anymore. Call it a learning experience. The only real downside to this method is that glue needs time to set properly, and we don't want to just sit around watching glue dry on the assembly line. So the patent introduces two potential solutions. One is locator pins. So there are pins on the frame that align with the global datum and will physically hold the panel in place. The other is a hot melt adhesive, basically a temporary blob of hot glue that will hold the panel well enough to allow the real structural adhesive to cure. According to the new patent, this system could cut the number of fasteners on each vehicle by 65%, and they've calculated that each vehicle would require just $25 worth of glue. So faster, better, cheaper. Picks all of the boxes. Now, the patents for this unboxed production line might be just coming out now, but progress on building that production line is already well on its way to completion. We have a lot of good intelligence coming in from Giga Texas drone operator Joe Tetmeyer, who's been closely watching the arrival of new equipment outside the factory and stockpiling of raw materials and components for the upcoming vehicles that will be built on the first unboxed line. The only downside, really, is that none of us will be able to drive these cars. The first unboxed line is going to be used exclusively for the Cybercab Autonomous Vehicle, which is going to allow Tesla to build out their RoboTaxi ride-hailing network at a pretty incredible speed. Elon Musk has said that the new production line can move so fast that it would be dangerous to any person to even get near it, just like the robots in the Amazon sorting facility that need to be inside cages. In more practical terms, it would mean something like one new Cybercab produced every five seconds. Currently, Tesla is able to build the Model 3 and Model Y at a rate of about one car every 20 to 30 seconds, so a pretty significant upgrade. And we won't have to wait very long to see this process in action. Based on what he's been seeing over the course of this year, Joe estimates that the first production is almost ready to begin right now. And 
that we might be getting our first look at the unboxed assembly sometime early in 2026.